Tax Avoiders was released for the Atari 2600 by American Video Game in 1982. You play as John Q, whose goal is to collect a million dollars within a year while cheating on his taxes. You run around this building where a seizure-inducing cacophony of icons flash across the screen. They're either dollar signs, representing money, or the squiggly thing, representing government red tape. You need to navigate around the rooms and collect all the money while avoiding the red tape. Simple enough. The days will pass quickly. There's an indicator at the bottom of the screen to let you know what the date is. And if you haven't gone into an epileptic seizure by the halfway point of the quarter, you'll be taken to another screen where you need to manage your investments. These items you collect represent the investments which could gain or lose money for you. It's a risk, much like any actual investment. Meanwhile, this man wanders around the room, changing colors randomly from black to pink and to green. The color will indicate the character he represents. When he's black, he's an IRS agent that'll audit you if he catches you, taking away half your income. When pink, he's a CPA, which will charge you a $1,000 fee to provide a tax shelter for your investments. So it actually does pay off. And then the green guy is an investment advisor who also gives you a tax shelter for your investments, but his services are free, so it's worth way more than pinky. At the end of the quarter, you'll go back to the seizure screen where you're chasing money. You'll repeat this process for the rest of the year until it's over and you get a final earnings count. Now, while this game does have ambition, it definitely lacks in other areas. Mainly, it's just plain boring. And that has nothing to do with the whole plot of the game. It's just not a lot of fun running around catching random flashing items. They fluctuate so quickly, you really can't strategize much of a pattern. It's all just so fucking random. Not to mention that navigating your way up the elevators is a pain in the ass. They seem to come and go as they please, and there's no real effective way of getting on the platforms. The controls are responsive, but too stiff. There's not much fluidity to your movements. The investment screen is at least a little more fun, mainly due to the one guy you need to avoid sometimes, and the ladders are easier to work with than the elevators. But it is still a clunky process to maneuver around, and the whole risk-reward factor with picking up these investments takes away a lot of the satisfaction you'd normally get for grabbing a power-up. I get what the game was going for, adding some realism and trying to be a little creative by implementing something as tedious as doing taxes into the form of a video game and making it fun, but the execution wasn't there. And to be honest, the whole premise is questionable at best. Interestingly enough, the game was apparently written by an actual tax consultant and former IRS agent. Maybe he was disgruntled and wanted to paint the IRS in a bad light by making them the antagonists in this game, but this is just speculation. I would say do what the name of the game suggests, at least in the avoidance department. And I mean just avoid the game, don't avoid doing your taxes, you'll be fucked. Cause I'm the tax man. Yeah.